and do what the people want. Just listen to the people. The church said, repeal the, uh, finance. the finance act because it is visiting untold pain on the population. Number two, they said, remove your police from protests. That is the way out. Because we will always defend this constitution. And then, uh, Trevor, there is no one in Azimio who's looking for an elite settlement. Because as, as I've said, the beef is not between these two leaders. The only thing, maybe the argument would be that the people feel, and this is something that is subjective, I'm sure people will object, that maybe Raila Odinga is the best person to represent the views of the people in that particular discussion. But at the end of the day, that discussion doesn't need to happen. All that is required for this crisis to end is for Ruto to listen to the people, not talk to Raila. And Raila has said it a thousand times, I am, I, I am not aware of any intention to get anything, including uh, the last press conference that he gave. He said he doesn't want this uh, spoiled bread. He said it. So what you need to do is just to listen to the people. On this question of uh, bipartisanship, uh, Frank, I want to inform you that there does not exist anything called a bipartisan team in this country today. I personally are not aware of any team called a bipartisan team. I see this uh, uh, friend of mine, uh, Mushimwa Murugara, sometimes issuing press conferences uh, and calling himself a member of a bipartisan team. It is in public knowledge that that team was disbanded. I was a member of that committee. In the Azimio fraternity, we were recalled. It was disbanded. There is no, some, there is no one called a co-chair of bipartisanship. If you are talking about Ondo Botende Amolo, he doesn't have the mandate of the PG to have discussions with anyone. And if these discussions are going to happen, because you see, we reported here that we did not see seriousness. We did not see any commitment from... When I compare Edwin Sifuna and the Nairobi governor, it's like day and night. Why am I saying this? Edwin Sifuna is becoming a vibrant, sharp, and courageous politician. And we hope for him the best, for God protection. Now, from that interview, you can see how Edwin Sifuna have thwarted Boni Kalwale. But the reality remains, even though he is doing so, as a Mio coalition who are planning to go back to the protest are now in a dilemma situation. They are trying to get into the government and get the lion's share. What is hurting me most is immediately when you will see Raila and Ruto having tea on the table, then know that that the wind has changed its direction. From that video I've just displayed to you, ladies and gentlemen, tells you that Edwin Sufuna knows what he is doing. The cri critical analysis that I want to bring and deliver for you. I have three key points here. But before I do that, kindly I request you, if this is your first time you are watching me, take a one second and click the subscriptions button and subscribe the channel. In that next time when I upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. And we always believe we deliver you the best where we can. As, as we know, there is no perfect human being in this world. We always try to reach the stars. Welcome, if this is your first time, to Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. To the members, I'm very much impressed through your support by subscribing, likes and comments. Let's go back to that video. I've just shown to you or displayed to you on Zion in Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. The key point here is this. Edwin Sifuna is trying to tell the fact to the government. It is true that Ruto is buying time for Kenyans. But the master in Azimio coalition 
it's weak. Remember last week I said that the worst mistake Raila will do in his life and regret is going back with Ruto on the table. Not that I'm supporting demonstration. Not that I'm supporting war. But as we know the politics of Kenya today, this Ruto's government need a firm opposition leader like Edwin Spooner. But what are we seeing today? He has been scrapped, mute, and he has nothing to say now. Remember last demonstration, it was the one who get out from the street and directed the people to demonstrate. Where were others in meal? Big fish. Some, somebody like Kalonzo went silent. Mata Karoa went away. His boss Raila kept silence, saying he was sick. But if you listen to the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, what did he say? That those who are just fake news, these people are trying to bring on the table. Now, why am I saying Edwin Sifuna is scrapped? One, Obasanjo, acting as a mediator in a Zimio coalition, failed. Two, Samia Sulu, who came in Kenya silently, denied that our access in Azimio peaceful consultation was not there. Let's get to the Edwin, Edwin Sifuna's reaction. You see, Edwin Sifuna is scrapped this way. As you view the movement of Azimio, these people are just in need of interest in the government. They are finding sympathy. Yesterday video, while Ruto was speaking at Likoni, I said very well that this man is buying time for Raila Molodinga. Mark my words, today is 31st, 7th, 2023. Let's give Azimio after three months. You will see if there will be no demonstration. Why am I saying this? People will turn in few numbers. That is why we are seeing them are very much confused. Because Ruto have buyed enough time for them. That is why I'm saying Azimio movement have scrapped Senator of Nairobi, Edwin Sifuna. Uh, Raila's movement, as we, we all had in news yesterday, spending time with the president in Mombasa, also have made Edwin Sifuna to be scrapped in this active demonstration. But this man was very active. Brilliant, courageous, and telling the government the truth. What are your view for, viewpoints, ladies and gentlemen? For now, that is what I had. As I said, join my analysis. I request you to remember to subscribe the channel, likes, and also comment, as we hope to meet on another video. Before I conclude, Somebody yesterday said, and even me, I worried myself on that question. Why is Kenya mostly based on international mediation? Yet we have people who can act as a mediator. Even we who always speak on uh, social media, we always pass the message to the government. That is enough for them. Somebody like Oginde, the EACC chairman, where is he? He's a good mediator. I've seen him, I know him, but the reality means why is Kenya 
finding or seeking help from outside country. As they as Emio trying to mute Edwin's phone, but they are going to fall on a hot frying pan if they are not keen enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the best. May you have a good night as we hope to meet on another political analysis. Bye bye.